Good morning. Here we've got the summer crop of baobabs from summer 2007. <clears throat> it's late July and we've got African baobabs, uh, last year's African baobabs, well, year or so old, uh, coming out of dormancy. Here we've got a selection of phony uh, one year old grandadary. Let's see, this is phony, phony, African digitata. Bunch of phonies, bunch of digitata, bunch of grandadary. They're looking great. Look at all that digitata. Here we've got some other digitatas coming up. And here, right in front, we've got lovely little African one I was messing with, trying to get to grow funky. And we've got a lot of phony with one or two grandadary in the middle. Suarezensis aren't up yet, Pereri aren't up yet, and Madagascarensis aren't up yet. Here's the testing, seeing uh, what pretreatments will get the guys up. These guys have got uh, a little bit of an aphid problem, but these guys are all African and a little separated from the rest. Ah, the baby Don Redwood, and the, most of the rest of the African crop with some various one-year-old grandadaries that haven't gone out of dormancy. New, new one, new grandadary, some phony. And here we've got the oldest crop. These guys are all African. Now this, these guys right here, that's our za. It's growing nice and tall. We've got some more of those coming in too. Um, around the corner, we've got some South African yellowwood with a few phonies and some rabbit damage. What's interesting with this is, I don't know if you can see, but right around where the stem was bitten off, two little leaves are coming out on each side. So this guy's going to actually not be tall, but going to be wide. Considering that I've got about a thousand seeds left, I think, uh, I think we're going to have a lot to talk about. A lot to show.